Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the RC Addict Make You Loco channel. After a long hiatus, once I basically moved into my new house, uh, the RC stuff kind of got pushed to the side, but we're back in full force, just in time for spring of 2020 and summer and fall, of course, uh, where you get all that fun RC action outdoors. Now, I just found out recently I have a track, an indoor 10th scale track, about a half an hour from me in Morris, Illinois, uh, that just opened up. So I'm very excited. I haven't been to a track since I was young, but in order to go there, I needed smaller vehicles, 10 scale or smaller. So I started looking around and I've been looking at the Rustler, the Traxxas Rustler for a long time, the original two wheel drive version. And I've been kind of stuck on the four wheel drive vehicles for the last how many years? So I didn't want to buy the two wheel drive version. It's mainly made for speed and, and racing. I wanted something I could take off road out in the woods and all that stuff. Enter the Traxxas Rustler 4x4 VXL. Uh, uh, Traxxas finally came out with a full-on, all-new, wide-track, low center of gravity, uh, 4x4 VXL powered uh, Rustler. It looks basically like a, a cross between a, a, a Traxxas Stampede and a Traxxas E-Revo. Okay, so it has best of both worlds in there. So today we're gonna do an un unboxing on here. It's gonna be perfect 10 scale vehicle for the indoor dirt track that we're gonna be taking it to. We're actually going there today. And I'm very, very excited. I also bought a um, the latest and greatest version of the Traxxas E Revo 16 scale of the VXL 4x4. It's just basically a, a, a trimmed down version of the full size E Revo. And that's the latest and greatest too. We're gonna do an unboxing on that soon. Um, so I'm very excited to have these two smaller vehicles for the indoor track because with the with the the track and the jumps and the improved surface there, it's gonna be a great time with me and my family and my uh, my two sons. So today we're just gonna do an unboxing on here, give you my initial impressions. Uh, again, I've been in the RC industry on and off uh, since the early 90s. Uh, so I have a lot of experience going all the way back to uh, the Traxxas TRX-1, uh, the Traxxas Radicator, and the um, Tamiya Stadium Blitzer. I love that vehicle, uh, the stadium truck also. So without further ado, let's go ahead and unbox this thing. I'm very interested to see what's inside and give you my impressions on it. All right, let's take a look. So the very first thing you notice that the new Traxxas vehicles come with these awesome paint schemes on here. Look at that. The blue and the green on this side with the crazy graphics. And this side is just, a, this is the other color that's available. And that's what's inside of this box is this mishmash of colors. Look at that, just an awesome paint scheme on there. And the first thing you notice also is the size of the tires on here. You can see um, the tires are the big 2.8 tires on here, like the original E-Revo. They're the Talon 2.8s on it. They're huge tires. Um, so with the, the big, bigger tires, the wider track, the extra length, the track stability management, the low center of gravity chassis is built right into it. And then, of course, these are lighter vehicles. I think they're going to be tons of fun to drive and fun to jump. They won't kind of lumber through the air. They'll be fun to jump because of the, the weight and the wide track on there. So a couple of things I want to note that were on the box here. So this one also includes the clipless, clipless body mounting system, which I first experienced on the Traxxas X-Mac, which I also have. Um, that is a great setup. You basically just turn this dial back here, lift the back end of the body off, unhook it from the front, and you pull it out. So it's really quick, no more pins. This one also includes that self-writing feature that came out a couple of years ago. Um, I don't like that. I think it beats the heck out of the drivetrain, uh, especially in my big heavy X-Max. I don't advise to use that. Maybe I'll try it on here in a future video to see how well it works, how quick it works um, with this vehicle being lighter. And then right there, rigid, low center of gravity chassis. It's really gonna help with stability out there, especially for jumping and getting around the track. Keep that weight nice and low inside of there. As you can see, based on the chassis right here, this is basically uh, the same thing as a Traxxas Stampede, except for the low center of gravity chassis. So it's modular and it's kind of built the same way inside of there. What else did I want to talk about? So of course it has, you know, many different speeds you can uh, achieve on here with different, uh, sp spur gear and pinion gear, uh, changes on there. And of course your battery pack to get the top speed. I mean, think about it. This stuff is just extreme on here. This is a 3S model. Uh, max, which is going to be more than enough for a 10th scale. Uh, but just look at this thing. It's just mean looking, and I think we're going to have lots of fun with it. What else do they have on here to talk about? There's a better picture of the uh, the chassis on here. So it looks very familiar, but upgraded uh, compared to the Traxxas Stampede 4x4 VXL that I'm very, very used to. So 
Um, yeah, let's go ahead and open it up and see what's inside. Okay, here we go. Let's open it up. Like I said, I am going to the track today for the first time. It's been a long time. And I'm unboxing both the Rustler 4x4 VXL and the E-Revo uh, uh, 16 scale uh, VXL on there. So let's pull up this end of it first here. And of course, what comes with it is the standard two channel TQI radio, but it is uh, that Bluetooth enabled in the back there. So you can use your app on your phone and get a lot of important information about your, your car, especially if you add all the tel telemetry uh, sensors on there uh, so you can get more and more data. But the basic sensors and information on there is usually more than enough. But these are really nice radios. They just look nice. They feel nice in your hand. And more importantly, the steering on here has a really good uh, return or feel to it. So you can really control your car. And I've never had any uh, any kind of radio reception issues with these at all. And I've run them pretty darn far. So that's pretty standard. They're still using that. And here it is. And it looks ultra small. Wanna know why? Uh, because I'm used to fifth scale and 12th, uh, not fifth scale, fifth scale and eighth scale cars. So this looks very, very small to me, almost too small, uh, but it is a 10th scale uh, car. Uh, these are considered, a, uh, uh, this is considered a stadium truck, okay? So it's made to go around the track on there and it's gonna be small like this and lightweight. So this one just lifts up in the back like this, okay? And then the whole thing should lift up in the back immediately. And then you pull off the front here. And it's gonna stick on me because of the bag, of course. Look at that freaking body though. It's just beautiful, it's gonna get trashed today. But it has some uh, points right here in case you flip and you're skidding past down, you get down the road there. And this wing looks a little flimsy, but if it flies off, it really doesn't matter. It's just for aesthetics on there. But you can see with this uh, clipless body system on here, how they make the whole body nice and rigid inside in the back and the points where you might land and of course up front here so it actually increases the body's strength one of the batteries are done over there and like i said you have this right here for skidding on the top so real nice real nice now like i said look at the car here get this thing out of here it looks like a standard you know with the the motor here it's a 3500 kv motor which is pretty standard for the weight of the vehicle. You want the higher speed and you can handle the weight on 3S. It's four by four, you have the adjustable slipper clutch right here. You see right there, it's an adjusting nut for that. You got the cover right here to keep dust and dirt out. They have a revised battery system here, so you can kind of just do like this and swings out of the way, pop it in, and then it kind of goes back in. Real, real nice compared to the older systems. Uh, but the rest of it on here, including the bumper in the back here and these telescoping dry shafts and stuff like that, all reminds me of the, um, the um, uh, Traxxas Stampede. Even back here with the reinforcements and stuff like that. It all just reminds me of it, the placement of the radio, uh, the shaft on here for the 4x4, and even the front here. So let's take a look at the front on here. So everything's pretty standard on here. I'm definitely gonna have to upgrade the bumpers on here, protect all the front components. And as each one of these pieces break on here, let's say an arm or something like that, even these uh, knuckles over here, I'll just be upgrading them with the RPM uh, arms and components because RPM uh, arms, they're, they're plastic still, but they flex. They flex much better instead of snapping. And then they don't just crack and break like aluminum does. Uh, so they're a really good option on there. Let's take a look at the underside. It's nice and smooth. Look at that. So you hit something, you're kind of going to go across this skip plate right here and go right into here. So any kind of uh, servo linkage right here, you can see it down in here, is all nice and protected. And we can just skid along, skid along, and come out the back on here. So it's nice and light, you know. So you have good returnability on Of course, it's all brand new and built by Traxxas all perfectly. We'll do some tuning and adjustment on here. You can adjust the shocks with these different clips on here uh, to make it really simple. And if I need to in the future, I'll upgrade the shocks. Um, 
But everything's, you know, waterproof on here. That's, that's the most important part. You want to have fun with these out in the winter and stuff like that. They're four by four. Everything is waterproof from the motor to the, the ESC to the receiver box on here. Uh, so you're good to go. But yeah, look at this thing. It's very, very small. You can see the low center of gravity chassis. So it drips down. Uh, so we get that better handling. But it's not too low. And if it does scrape, yeah, look at that. Nice and smooth. They did a really good job uh, straight from the factory making it smooth all the way across. So yeah, that's basically what comes inside of it. Um, I did get the 6400 milliamp 3S battery for this thing to kind of max it out uh, as far as speed goes on there. Might have been overkill, but they said it fits in here. So I figured I'd just go the highest I could and just kind of drop it into there. So it looks like you could just do something like this and go in here. For the bigger batteries i don't know um but that is another option it looks like on there so that's pretty cool so i'll have to figure that out because that 6400 milliamp battery is pretty big uh, but there's some adjustment there so that is it what do you guys think Are you excited to see this thing run on the channel i usually have these big lumbering eight scale cars and now we're back down the 10 scale and the 16 scale erivo uh, that we can kind of just race around with and they'll be just you know really fast and uh sporty walk you know driving around like that because they are so light and that's the other great part because they're light when you jump them they kind of go through the air effortlessly and then they're easy to stick the landing also uh, which helps out a lot so that's enough i just want to let you guys know that um i do have these new models coming out on the channel here we're going to be racing and tuning and and driving and giving you a good overall impression of them once i get some time with them first things first we're going to track with this one today once i get the battery charged uh and hopefully i get some footage there for you guys too uh, because this is perfect for the track environment that's all for now i'll see you guys next time